take many plaudits over the next few days, that's for sure. Let's have a look at what that means in the Group B table. It means that um, Iran lead after their 95th minute winner, an own goal in the earlier game today. And um, Portugal and Spain, who of course will be still strong favourites, both of them uh, to go through uh, to the knockout stages. And um, <laughs> Well, it's, it's, it's seldom you see a game as, as special as that. It had everything, really, didn't it? It did. I mean, it was the, some of the goals were just outrageous. Um, I, do, I, don't know, I, don't, I don't know where to start. Well, I could just sit and just clap yeah. my hands and say it was just absolutely right. I'll tell, I'll tell you where we'll I just loved it. It was brilliant. We'll, we'll, had everything. We'll start with the second half. And um, Iero, big test for him at half-time. His team came out and performed brilliantly. Um, got back in the game. And Costa scored his second goal, Sesc. Yeah, in a... In a set piece that you don't normally see Spain uh, scoring in this kind of situations, uh, but I didn't have a lot of hope, I must be honest. But, Do you think uh, this is a, a Lopetegui move or an Iero move, uh, or just the players? I have no idea. To be honest, I, I don't really mind. <laughs> <laughs> it's important. It's a goal. Uh, very well taken, Busquets and yeah. Diego being where he has to be. Yeah, it was uh, really, really well worked from uh, from Spain. Um, ball into the box, header at the far post and across and. And Martini didn't stay with uh, with Costa on the edge of the box, and he was yeah. quicker and sharper than he got there before him. Mm. I think it'll be a very unlikely that we'll see many better goals than the Nachos that mm. gave Spain the lean. Rear. I what think, a I, I hit! Think it was a great hit. I think I need to leave to these guys who hit balls like this more often than me to explain right. the technique yeah. and stuff. But but Ronaldo here, I mean his body language here. Was um, I w you wouldn't be able to. Oh, come on, what are you doing? You're picking on but, him, you scored a hat. But, but here, <laughs> <saving> himself, <laughs> yeah, don't worry, I'm going to go overboard later, don't worry. <laughs> but what I would say is here, they they were like, it was almost taking the mickey here at, at the Portuguese team, the way they play here. Tick attack of football, they're renowned for playing in, in, in short bursts over small areas. I mean, it was just intricate football. But this technique here, that he's cut the ball yeah. underneath that, to the side of it and the technique oh. to keep it down there was fantastic. I mean, that's not half volley. That ball's on the up. That's, that's so yeah. difficult to keep down. I think that's it's one what of you the, call a sweet spot, isn't it? That it's is right on it. Once you hit it, I think you know, you know, you know. <laughs> that it's perfect. Yeah, you can just feel it, can't you? It's, he's just yeah. caught it perfectly. Brilliant. I'll tell you, well, that's, that's too good just to it, have three it? or four replays. I think we need to see that again a few times. Go on, can we, uh, yeah, oh, well played, they're on it. I did bend, score, I, I, bend on it, hasn't it, look. I did score one of these in training, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. In my dreams, but no, what a, what a strike. I mean, he'll be, he'll be loving it. His first goal for his country, by the way, so yeah. what a way to do it. Lovely. I think Mr. Shearer might have smacked Beautiful. one or two in, 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 in his career. And then it started, we thought it was drifting towards a, a comfortable Spanish victory in the end. And then he did it. Ronaldo. It, it was his 45th free kick. This, this was the one in the first half. That was, that was his 44th free kick in major tournaments mm. without scoring. So you think, maybe he won't even take this one. But you know he's going to take this well, one. Well, one or two will question why I said it half-time. He needs to work on his free kicks. That's <laughs> why I said it, because it's his 45th attempt in yeah. major championships, as you say. But, without, uh, and 45th time lucky. And what a strike. And his 51st hat-trick, which was also the 51st hat-trick in uh, World Cup history, actually. I as think well, if you, so if you can look at that technique, the way he hit that ball, that's been... That's been something that I've seen change. He's hit it on the, the side with the instep of his foot. He normally hits it on the on the straight on. He runs straight yeah. up to the ball. And that was a difference. Sex, Sess mentioned it before. Yeah. He hit it. If he hits it with the inside of his foot, he's got more of a chance I mean, of scoring. He had a lot of so success close. in his early days, particularly at Manchester United, Rio, didn't he? With that one that they hit the, like, yeah. the adapter, they call but it. He, they? Yeah, but he used to hit it. He used to run yeah. straight on and hit it straight on sometimes. But he, was, he used to mix it up. Mm. which made it even more difficult for the goalkeepers and yeah. of late he's been really hitting it straight on yeah. and that was a um, great players are adaptable they're flexible and they change their routine and he's done that today I mean it, it wasn't just the second half that because it was the first let's remind ourselves about how it all got going it was um, really early wasn't it about three four minutes in yeah. um, penalty for um, Portugal Ronaldo won it and Ronaldo took it he did he, he had the defender Nacho exactly where he wanted him one-on-one -on -one. And he said, come on, tackle me. And he was uh, stupid enough to, uh, to do that. And it was, it was definitely a penalty. And he took it away with ease. There goes go. Smiles <laughs> at Nacho there. Nacho got his revenge later oh, just at some a bit. point. <laughs> did, didn't he? That was for... Uh, then it was 1-1. Uh, Diego Costa, we talked before the game, didn't we? About they had to adapt to his style of football. And they certainly did that here with Busquets. Yeah, I'm really happy for, for Diego. This was a big, big mm. day for him. Big game. 
and he's got a lot of stick in the last four years, uh, doubting him if he was the right man. And today, tonight, he proved yeah. that he really is the main man. Yeah. yeah, you've played with him, Cesc. What's he like? I mean, we, we see him, don't we? We see this person that is unbelievably competitive. He can drive you crazy at times. Yeah. He's got, obviously, very hot-headed. Hot -headed. What is he like as a bloke? Ah, as a bloke, he's fantastic. Really? Fantastic for the dressing room. Uh, he's mm. always uh, asking for togetherness. He makes jokes. He's a positive guy. Mm. He has a lot of influence inside the dressing room without speaking any English. You don't know how he, he does it, really. but he, he really was a leader. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, you wouldn't want to play against him, would you, Rio? Yeah, he'd be someone who you'd like to play against who you feel you could maybe get him sent off because he's so oh, emotional. In that way, yes. In that way, I, yeah. I'd be trying to push his buttons and get him amped up and, and sometimes he sees red and you'd be hoping yeah. for that to, to come out. But you know, once he gets in the groove, he's a difficult player to stop because physically was, he's great. It, it was really interesting and fascinating tonight, that, like we said, is that they changed, as, as much as we were sat here admiring their passing, that they changed it up a little bit with the long ball, with the free kick into the mm. into the box, far post, not a down and it's a little tapping. I thought they got it, it I thought it was perfect from them tonight. Mm. Uh, Ronaldo's second goal, of course, was uh, a, a huge mistake from David De Gea, something we, we, we very rarely see. I mean, he's been so magnificent for Manchester United over, over the last few years. Yeah, very rare, isn't it? I suppose anyone can make a mistake, yeah. but it, yeah. it's not the time you want to do it, is it, in the World no, Cup? It's, it's very rare. He, he takes a gamble, doesn't he, Ronaldo? Left foot turn, hit it. But, yeah, it, uh, it, should, it should have been a basic save for a, a goalkeeper of, of, of his calibre. Mm. Yeah. Seems the night's about, about him. The night's about him, though. I mean, yeah. the guy is just it's cool. relentless. He's relentless in his pursuit of greatness. That's the thing with him. Yeah. And he just wants it more than that incredible desire he has. Well, you can see even at the end of the game, they've got a draw, and you can see him <coughs> to, his, to his teammates, like what this means to us, yeah. what this is going to do now, driving us forward. And obviously him. Yeah, because he, he's, listen, there's no getting away from it, he's got a huge ego. Mm. But to be a top player, Cesc, you've played with Messi, he's got, he must have a huge ego to be doing what he's doing as well. He might. A very different the way, the way he shows though, it is he? different. Yeah, different personalities, but without having an ego. Sometimes you can show it mm. to the world, sometimes you can keep it for yourself, but for them performing for the last 15 years the way they did, yeah. if you don't have a personal ego inside of you, it's impossible. A word on what Spain did this evening, considering what's happened to them over the last few days. They lost their coach, Fernando Hierro came in. I mean, he's got a great response, hasn't he? Yeah, he's done very well. He's done uh, some tactical changes. I think uh, Busquets positioning as well, he was a little bit too deep. He came a little bit, a bit higher, putting more pressure, getting you know more into the ball, and then you know I think when Lucas Vazquez came in the end to work hard, it, it didn't pay off in the end because Ronaldo scored a great uh, free kick. But the idea was there, and I I think you know considering what's happening or what happened in the last 48 hours, I think we'll take that. Well, I think both teams yeah. would probably say that, given the other two sides in the group, Iran and Morocco, probably not the strongest teams mm. in, in the tournament. When, when both managers look at that, that game again mm. tonight and they look at the standard of football, I think they'll both be really pleased with that. And as you say, they'll fancy them, their, their chances against the other two in the group. Yeah, looking at that game, they probably decided before we'll just uh, draw, that'll do. <laughs> 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 no, 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 the way. no, no, that's a joke. <laughs> I mean, it was, it was just, um, I think, one of the best World Cup games. I've certainly in a group yeah. stage. I, I, I think, think I can... especially as it's your first game. Yeah. Because we all know going into a tournament, yeah. you play, your first game, you're a bit tentative, you're a little bit apprehensive about how it's going to go, you don't want to lose, your, and you kind of shut up sometimes and you come up. But these two teams, from word go, especially Portugal, where the game started, they played so open, expansive, attacking on the front foot, and it's such a contrast to what you normally see. And the other thing as well is it, it all goes well for the rest of the World Cup, doesn't it? Because mm. I think the teams that have been very successful in, in certainly in club football in recent years, we've seen it like Manchester City this season, Real Madrid, Barcelona in Europe at mm. times, the, the teams that have been successful are the ones that are playing with freedom and flair and attacking mm, yeah. style. Well, when we did the preview show the other evening, we were sat here thinking, we, we hope it's going to be yeah. a World Cup that the stars are allowed to shine, are allowed to play their, their great football and touch and technique, and rather than be smothered up by teams sitting deep and trying to get, draw teams on. But that was a classic yeah. example tonight of yeah. two very good teams going for it. Let's hope that game's not just a one-off, Cesc. Hopefully not. I mean, that's why we love football, you mm. know. Uh, sometimes defensive teams win, but I'm happy that we can watch games like this mm. where two teams really going for it and hopefully, you know, uh, an amazing World Cup is uh, coming ahead. Also, a little subplot to it as well is now 
the game tomorrow we've got, we've got Argentina tomorrow. The pressure now mounted yeah. on Messi, his shoulders. He'll have been, been watching. Cristiano's oh, yeah. done today. Yeah. Uh, He'll deliver. Too. He'll yeah. deliver. He's your mate, isn't he? He'll deliver. He, <laughs> he, does. <laughs> he normally delivers. does. The pair of them do. Uh, plenty of live football coming your way over the weekend, but well worth keeping an eye out for this.